guys, this is Adam Lane from PluginNow.com. We're going to do a comparison between Navgon on the iPhone and the new Navgon for Windows Phone. Uh, some people didn't like the car I was driving last time, so we got a new one. Alright, so here's the home interface for Navgon on uh, iPhone and Windows Phone. You can see they're quite different. And over here we have uh, just enter address buttons, point of interest, take me home and show map. And what do we have here? Favorites, recent, and there's your store, and extras. Over here we don't have a store, but you have points of interest, reality scanners there, and uh, just more for basic stuff. Alright, so we should search for a point of interest. Let's do restaurants. Witchcraft. Let's try that. Okay, start navigation. And then for the Windows Phone, start navigation is this button. And you got one choice. You got traffic information on the iPhone first. And then we can drive. Now. Uh, this one is not going to work when you're in another app, but with the iPhone we can go home and get right back to it, and it's instantly going. With this one, if I go to home, and I go back to that, it's going to reload a little bit. Well, it's pretty quick still. All right, I guess we'll uh, take it for a little drive. And if we shut off the screen on the iPhone. Now bear right onto 11th Avenue. Now turn right onto West 24th Street. The iPhone still talks. In 400 feet, turn right onto West Side Highway. Windows phone, you have to be on at all times and seeing the screen and in the now app. Turn right onto West Side Highway. But they're both pretty smooth. Looks like it got a little more detail on the iPhone map. Now turn right onto West 28th Street. In point one miles, turn right. So there you go. This one has a wider angle view. So that's it for our comparison between Navigon on the iPhone and Navigon for Windows Phone 7. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and that's it for now.